What's up guys, Joe here, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with a very nice episode of Team Mobile Bianchi because upcoming today we have the Hell of the North Parry Roubaix. This could be our leader right here, Pepo Ghana, the winner of Dwarves Door Vlander and top 10 at the Tour of Flanders as well. We have plenty of options in the cobbles, no elite cobblers but we do have options so hopefully we get a really nice couple of race days but a few other races coming up too. So we will start today with the Sprinters Classic, Shelder Priest, always a sprint um, and really a nice race to win as a sprinter. We have Roubaix and Brabant's Appeal too uh, before getting into the Arden in the next episodes. So Shelder Priest to start like I mentioned, we do have Wout Van Aert here who is prepping of course for Roubaix like pretty much all of the riders. Looking at our squad though, we are led by Rick Zabu, who has the likes of Stefan Bissiger, Patrick Gamper, Davide Babato, we have Maro Schmidt, also Mikhail Scher and Alessandro Zamaki to help out Rick today. So sadly, we do miss out on a great day here with Zabu, who will be our leader though, nonetheless, as yeah, we are prepping really for Roubaix today and Zabu will be going to that race. So let's see if he can put in a good performance here. And we do have some gale force wins today, 37 kilometers an hour right now and 13 minutes up to today's breakaway they shouldn't be too dangerous i hope not at least i mean 90k still to go i was expecting to see you for the finish but the tempo being set is absurd our guys energy is suffering and we are now seeing splits form in these crazy crosswinds this could be an interesting addition of shelter priest today so 30k to go things have settled down a bit but the breakaway still have a two minute lead it's been such a difficult day we need to press on immediately so simone consini is among those that won't compete today same goes for jacob Marexo. also we have van poppel here too so some good riders are really struggling with the rhythm. The breakaway have pretty much been caught and we are now seeing attacks, which Mikhail Scher is going to try and control. Kasper Askreen, Gianni Vermeersch and Stan De Wolf. That is a very dangerous group of riders going up the roads. We need to bring the, uh, these guys in ASAP. Such has been the rhythm today. 37 riders are at the front. Look how selective this edition of Shelter Priest is going to be. Just 31 riders are here. Now we have Lotto helping us out, but those guys still just up the roads. So now 10k to go. Mikhail Scher is really going to try and push it on this cobbled set so to try and catch those guys up the road. We do have Loic Vliegen here as well, but still Askreen, De Wolf and Gianni Vermeersch are just up the road. 9k to go. Mikhail Scher is trying to catch them, but he's not going to be able to such a shame here. We're going to have to go now with Paddy Gamper, Biscuit and Zabel. Still sat in the wheels, but still we have a 15 second gap to those guys. This is going to be very difficult, I can tell. But now into the final 5k, Patrick Gamper is doing his best. We now have Mike Tunison trying to bring it in for Wout Van Aert. And he is going to, is he, into the final 5k. There you go, finally. Those guys are caught. Gamper right to the front, but for Mish on the attack again. How can Jenny Vermeersch put in an attack like that after struggling um, in the breakaway just then? But now Gamper is done. Biska up to 88. Jenny Vermeersch looking good though. Into the final 2k. Has he got everyone here? Zabel still waits. We have Van Aert and Viviani on our wheel. We're trying to lead everyone out, including Wout Van Aert. Here comes Zabel going for the line. There goes Van Aert. Zabel on his wheel. Tries to come off it right now, but Wout Van Aert is just going to be too strong today. We tried to win it. It's going to be a top three with Zabel, Atia Viviani, but Wout Van Aert wins at Shelter Priest. Fun addition here today. I tried to sit on the wheel of Wout Van Aert and come through in the end with Zabel, but Wout Van Aert's end sprint was just too, too good. It's going to be difficult to beat this man at Roubaix on form like this for sure. Here we go then, guys. The Hell of the North is here. All the big favourites are ready and looking as our squad for this race, we are of course led by top Ghana. We have Jonas Rich, Gianni Moscon, Johan Jakobs, and Stefan Biska, our other main options. We also have Zabel, maybe on a great day, he can survive the cobbles and Mikhail Scher to provide experience. Away we go then for a wet Paris Roubaix. Things you love to see. I think we'll try and get Mickey Scher in the breakaway here. Why not? He's on a good day. We also have. Jonas Rutsch on a great plus four day, taking him to 81 cobble. Ghana as well on a big plus three. I'm very excited about this race now. Let's go. Come on, boys. And so 15 riders are up the roads in today's breakaway. The weather is awful. Things you love to see only at Roubaix. 
But let's take a look who joins Cher up the roads. I can't see anyone particularly dangerous. Of course, we have Tony Galapan here. Jeffrey Soup as well, the greatest beard in cycling with Brian Cocker. So the breakaway, enter the cobbles. Here we go, Roubaix really gets underway right here. 160 kilometers still to the line. I'm gonna use Jakob Zab and Biska just to protect our big three today. But yeah, Ghana is our big leader. Maybe Rich as well. We'll see how it goes. We've got a few options. Let's just make sure we're staying in position for now, of course. Oh, it's disaster. Disaster already. Pippo Ghana goes down. No. No, 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 no. Second cobble sector of the day and Ghana goes down in Roubaix. He does get up and get back on his bike, but Zab will wait for Ghana. Oh, my word. He's going to spend a lot of energy right here. I think Van Marka went down. We're seeing attacks now up the road too. So this ball has cost Ghana a lot of positioning. We're slowly making our way back up as Bissaka goes down as well. Now let's push on a bit now with Ghana. Bissaka goes down next for us in Roubaix. Who's he gone down alongside here? Reynard. Really unlucky. Two falls, I think, in this race, and we've been involved in both so far. But we have got Ghana back in a good position now, which is great. Biska is so far back in this group. They will try and move up with him if possible, but he is going to spend a lot of energy, obviously. No way. Another fall. This time it's Rick Zabel going down. Oh, and he is probably out the back for good here. Frederick Backart goes down alongside Rick Zabel. Not even on a cobble sector as well. That is so frustrating. But up the road in the breakaway, we now have 19 riders at the front called Brelli is here. Lots of Bahrain victorious riders. I know we have uh, Sonkwa Anderson somewhere in this group as well. Very good rider, as we know. So some riders have bridged. To the front, we have Jake Stewart, Christoph trying to make that bridge as well right here with Garcia Cortina too. And now we come on to one of the most feared moments of the race. 95k to go, the Arenberg in the wet. This is going to be absolute torture for the riders. Looking at, look at them bounce up and down here on this section. We need to stay right to the front. We're going to try. Bissiga has punctured. So unlucky has Bissiga been at this race. We're getting blocked there by Garavaglia too, but Bisca probably now gone for the day. We'll try and get back on with him. Rutsch as well. Out of position a little bit over the Arenberg. Ghana still in the front group, but this is getting so, so difficult already. Christoph has been caught. And this race really is exploding very, very quickly. I managed to get back on with Rutsch and Moscow. We sprinted across the gap. Spent a lot of energy though. Um, I'm not sure if that was worthwhile, but Ghana still looks good, I guess, for energy. He looks definitely like our sole leader today. We're just trying to hold on whilst not spending any energy, really, for now. Mickey Cher doing well. He's going to help us definitely later on in this race, too, as this group trying to bridge back. Oh, and here we go. Stefan Kung on the attack for Group Armour FDJ. He is going to try and bridge up to that front group. Big, big gap for him to cross, though. That is for, uh, that is for sure. We need some H2O, though in this main peloton here. Oh, and this sector is proving to be very, very difficult. We have Jasper Stuyven on the front for the Koenig quick step. He is opening up this race. Everyone is bunching up. We're seeing riders starting to struggle. Dionysi struggling there. Jakobs as well, struggling a lot for us. Right, so Jakobs is gone, and now we're seeing a real increase in the rhythm. Moscon is going to be used as a domestique here today. 68k to go. This has become so selective already. Ghana trying to stay in position. Mark the likes of Wout van Aert, Van Poel, and Sagan, of course. That is what we're trying to do. Oh, but as I say that, Peter Sagan does try an attack from the main peloton. We can just sit in this group, I think, with Ghana. Probably too early, but Ghana has bridged very quickly to the front of the race as Mickey Share is going to sit up and now wait to try and protect Pippo Ghana as Moscon is gone for the day. But Ghana still looking okay, you know, 63k to go. We're going to rely on Yombo Visma and Wout van Aert as Sagan has been caught, but we still have a breakaway up the roads. This group becoming so, so small, under 20 riders out of this set. So I'm pretty sure 19 are now here. An attack by Terji now for EF. Of course, Matthew van der Poel's teammate in this career. This is becoming a very exciting race very quickly. So Jonas Rutsch, the final helper for Pippo Ghana, is going to come round. Ghana, definitely the leader for us today. Selig is struggling. Get out of the way, my friends. You're not challenging today. Do not hamper Pippo Ghana, who is sitting on the back of this group. Just biding his time for now. We only have one rider left at the front of the race. Half this group um, are riders who have been caught from the earlier breakaway. Now we see Matthew Van der Poel on the attack. We need to up the rhythm with Ghana. We're getting blocked towards the back of this group, though, and that is not ideal. We have a very elite group. Van Aert, Vermeersch, and Van der Poel have attacked up the roads. And now we see again Van der Poel on the attack. 
boy oh boy this is a massive move massive move right here we probably need to follow Ruch is struggling Ganna is struggling as well Sagan cannot follow those guys at the front of the race do I try and bridge this gap here with Ganna we're going to go 99 we're going to try Ruch is pretty done and Ganna is going to try and bridge to these guys at the front of the race we've got there and they're not working with us now. What on earth are they doing? We have Ruch with us still though. 11 riders at the very front. Okay, more attacks are taking place. 11 riders, like I said, at the very front. Jonas Ruch will try and get some control on this group. But I can see Vanderpool is thinking about another move. Really, Matthew, really? Are you really going to do this to us on this five-star sector? 47k still to go in this group A, remember. We have lost Jonas Ruch. We need to be very careful with our stamina right now with Pippo Ganna. That is for sure. A group of four riders trying to go clear. We're going to make sure they're not going to do that on this occasion. Ganna is struggling for energy, but we have caught the guys at the front again. We are struggling so much for energy right here. Six riders at the very front. Let's try and relay a little bit, just a little. Vanderpool, Van Aert, Florian Vermeersch, Kasper Askreen, and Oli Narsen at the front. Van Mark and Sagan trying to get back on. Oh, brilliant. And there goes Vanderpool. I, I simply cannot follow anymore with Pippo Gano. We need to work in this group behind as Wout Van Aert and Matthew Vanderpool on the attack. And they have gone very aggressively up the roads. If we can form some collaboration now, Vermeersch, Narsen, Askreen, Sagan, and Sepp Van Marker. If we work with these guys, hopefully we can catch them later in the race. But for now, Van der Poel and Wout Van Aert trying to attack each other up the roads. Oh, and we've lost a helper here. Van Marker punctures on that sector. So unlucky for him. We're down to five riders now. Probably hurts us more than helps us there with Askreen, Sagan, Vermeersch and Ganna with Narsen. The two riders at the head of the race, the two superstars are working together as well. So Van Baal and Trenton are trying to come back on. Jonas Ruch will just sit in this group behind. Um, I'm not sure why he's trying to pull. Not sure if he's going to make it back on. I'm pretty sure he isn't. So Ganna, Vermeersch, Narsen, Askreen and Sagan are going to have to try and do this without any help from their teammates. For now, the collaboration has been okay. 28k to go to catch the two guys up the roads. And you know what? The gap is slowly coming down here. 35 seconds. Are they attacking each other again? Wout Van Aert attacks Matthew Van Der Poel on this cobbled sector. But Van Der Poel is able to respond to the gap back up to over 50 seconds after that. Our energy not looking great, but we need to collaborate still with these guys. So we're now running out of cobbled sexes. Ghana is just sitting on the back now. I'm wary of our yellow for sure, but I'm pretty sure everyone in this group is. We're going to try and work together, but our time is running out. 18k to go. Van Der Poel and Van Aert still together at the heads of the race. They're working together fairly well now too, which is far from ideal for us as we've had a puncture. Oli Narsen punctures so unlucky for him. He is out of it now. Oh, and look at Florian Vermeersch. He is really pushing on the youngster now on this sector. The gap is down to 40 seconds, but look at Ganna's energy as well. We are not looking great. We can't really collaborate at that rhythm for much longer, but 40 seconds to those guys. Look at Ganna's energy though. We are struggling so much here. Really difficult to know what to do, but we can't sit on the back. We have to try and work with these guys. We're all pretty done. 30 seconds to Van Der Poel and Wout Van Aert. The gap is coming down. Kasper Askreen, the Danish motor, has to try and help us here. 10 K to go in Paris Bay. The gap is under 20 seconds for the first time in a very long time. Almost 30 kilometers, 40 kilometers. These guys have been out front. And Casper Askreen is just about going to make the catch. There you go. Six riders are at the front in this edition of Paris Bay. I must say, Florian Vermeer just looks so, so good. We're going to sit on his wheel just for a moment because we are completely cut. Let's try and prep some kind of attack because we're not taking this in a sprint. So Pippo Ganna is sat on the back as we enter the velodrome. Four and a half K to go. We're sat on Peter Sagan's wheel right now with Pippo Ganna. We can use our gel. Four K to go. I just don't have the energy to try anything at this stage. So we're going to stay on Sagan's wheel. I must say Askreen looks good. Let's try and go to him. Maybe stay on Sagan's wheel. Not quite sure. We're running out of time to try anything right here. That is for sure. We're going to have to stay here. Pippo Ganna on the wheel of Matthew Vanderpool into the kilometer. Let's try and get the jump on these guys with Ghana. There goes Sagan though. And we're not going to be able to win Roubaix this year. Wout Van Aert takes Roubaix despite being caught in the final 10k. Sagan second. We end sixth with Ghana. We just didn't quite have it, but that was such a good race. Oh, I'm gutted.
Well, 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 Wout Van Aert has done the double so far in this episode. Just unstoppable for me today. We tried our best with Gunner, guys. We really did. He had a great day. And I'd have loved to have tried a final 10 kilometer attack after we made the catch. But we spent our energy, really, having to get back up to Van Aert. And, of course, Van Der Poel. Not quite what we wanted today, but a valiant effort by young Pippo. Going up against the best guys in the Cobble Classics, things you love to see. So guys, we'll go for one more classic today. Brabantse Peel, a really fun one for me in Belgium. Getting ready now for the Hilly Classics. Really the crossover point between the Cobbles and the Hills and the Ardennes. So we have avoided Wout van Aert today, which is obviously great news. We have Godot, Bagioli, Quinn Simmons, the favourites, but our team is led by Gianni Moscon, also Marco Brenner and Kevin Vermarka. Outside of those guys, we have Vincenzo Nibali, Jonas Ruch, Johan Jakobs and Mickey Scher. Away we go then here in Belgium. And I think the best way to start this race is with a shark attack. Let's go. Vincenzo Nibali going in today's breakaway. Okay, so we do have 16 riders in the end breakaway, including Vincenzo. Really a sign of his downfall that he is allowed in a breakaway like this. You can see the other guys. Olaf Koy is here for some odd reason. So right now we are into the final 50k. Still one minute for that breakaway, but the tempo behind means I think they are going to have an impossible task if they want to win today. We're just keeping our guys in a good position for now. Okay, so 30k to go here. We're seeing splits form over the short hills. I think they will be closed back up again, as you see, for example, right here. Jonas Rich can just hang around at the front nibbly, also to the front of the breakaway, which still have a slender lead. Lawrence Narsen as well is just up the road. But still, you know what? 23k to go. We still have a lead up the road in the breakaway. Somehow, Nibbly can maybe try a counter-attack once Narsen is caught right here. Let's try it. Nibbly on the attack at the head of Brabant's appeal. He has 21k to try and hold on. Going to be quite difficult. We'll give it a go though. Give Vincenzo his chance. So we're really trying with Vincenzo, but the breakaway have just been caught. That could help Vincenzo here. Although his energy says he really cannot win this race. It's probably worth trying to control things as the likes of Tim Wellens now tries to go on the attack. So let's relay with some guys. Probably go for Vermarka on that final climb. So we have 9k to go here. Cher and Nibley are now done for the day. Good rides by the both of them. We have Rutsch controlling things on the front. Then we have Jakobs, Brenner, Moscon and Vermarka who are going to try and win this race for us today. But Godot, Tim Wellens, they're going to be so, so difficult to beat as Rutsch, he can sit up as well. So Jakobs trying to drop off our guys at the head of the race. I remember I did try an attack here before on this climb. I'm not going to do that this year as Jakobs, he can now sit up for the day too. Let's go with Brenner, Moscon and Vermarka. Is that Pache trying an attack? We'll get in his wheel even with Marco Brenner, whilst Kevin Vermarka still sat on the wheel of Gianni Moscon, but Brenner is putting our guys in literally the prime position up to 99 right now with Marco Brenner into the final two kilometers. We have Moscon still waiting to lead out. Of course, Kevin Vermarka for the win today. Just one case go. Have I gone too early? Potentially. Let's try though with Gianni Moscon to hold on. Here comes Vermarka sat on the wheel. Oh my word, it's going to be a 1 2 3, is it? Let's celebrate with our guys. What a win! Gianni Moscon gets the win today. And finally, we have a great performance here. You love to see it. Well, that is a very nice way to end today's episode. I'm sure you guys will agree. A 1 2 3, Moscon, Vermarka, and Brenner. So, following today's episode, we still have four riders in the top 10 of the Super Prestige standings. Wout Van Aert, though, has been a completely different level this year. I mean, I looked at him in the last episode as well. We'll do it again here. He's won Roubaix to add to all his accomplishments already. And he has Amstel and a Flesh on his calendar, which will be in the next episode. And looking quickly at the next episode, we will play Amstel, La Flesh, and Liège, Baston, Liège. Cannot wait for that, guys. I hope you're looking forward to it. I'm not sure if we'll play Roman D. If not, we'll skip straight to the first Grand Tour of the season, the Giro d'Italia. As always, though, guys, I really hope you're enjoying the series still. Drop a like if you are. Smash that sub button as well if you're new to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.